Hi everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I am filming a flip through of my 2021 Hobonichi weeks. Um, I was going to film like a setup with me or like plan with me and stuff, but I've tried making those videos and I just kept getting interrupted in the video. I'm just going to show you guys what, how I'm using this, what I did in it right now, and um, what my thoughts are and stuff. So this is the Springs Day Hobonichi. I unboxed it in my, in my Delphonics bag setup. So if you want to see me unbox it, it's in there. But um, this is the Springs Day and I cricketed or I made my own sticker of my name just to put on the front. Um, and I used Cricut on my computer and I'm pretty sure this is like the autumn and November font that you can download. Um, but yeah, so that's what I did for this. It's just plain vinyl. Um, so yeah, my cover still hasn't come in yet. Still don't know because it just says shipping pending. So I guess we'll never, we'll never know. Um, so this is my front, not cover, but I guess um, the inside first page. And I put the little pocket right here. I don't really know what to put in here just yet, but I put it on this side just because I think up in the front will be good. But um, these are some random vinyl stickers that I had. This is from a Happy Planner. Uh, no, this is from an American Craft sticker book. Um, this is Shine Sticker Studio. So that's what I put on that page. And this is the next page. Um, these are the other vinyl stickers. This is from the Agenda 52 Hobby Lobby Plant Lady sticker pack that I use a lot. Um, Oreo is sitting next to me now. My Felicity Jane washi, this is a Felicity Jane stamp that I just colored in with my mild liners. And then this is a um, prayer card from Hobby Lobby. You can get them in a pack. Um, next page, this is my like yearly overview or whatever. Um, so I use the Shine Sticker Studio um, month date, I don't, what are they called again? I forgot. <laughs> But I put this owl making this like I'm over at face on 2020 because, yeah. Um, and then I'm using this as like a cycle tracker, um, which I did in my other planner um, from like Walgreens. I did the same thing, so that's what I'm doing in here. Um, and then I just put this kind of changes everything over this little box because I see a lot of people leave this open. But I put that because I thought it was cute, so. And then I'm using this page as a spending tracker obviously and I put a little Luna with shopping bags and every month I'm just gonna write down how much I spent in that day not um, incoming money I'm just doing only outcome money Oreo really and then I'll probably put like the total at the bottom here just so I can see how much I'm spending on average because I could probably fix that um, and then next was December but obviously I'm not gonna use December so I just taped them together so I don't have to worry about seeing that blank page then we're going into my months and we've got January and I did order on Etsy some month month stickers but I was like what the heck I'll just write it in with my model liners or I can print them on my own sprocket I mean not sprocket my Cricut um and so I canceled that order and I just wrote it in January um that's good practice for my calligraphy so I wrote in January I used my Pusheen Cat um stickers with some washi tape and yeah, obviously this month is gonna look very plain because I, I got it here or this day, this day. So yeah, February, Etsy, Shine Sticker Studio. I'm putting um, a little Shine Sticker Studio Luna um, balloon girl for every birthday that I have, just so I know that that girl means birthday, if that makes any sense. Um, and I'm going to try to get a color coding system, which I need to write in somewhere. So that's probably what I'll do at the end of the video. But another vinyl sticker, some washi tape from Tuesday morning. This is from the Shine Sticker Studio Seasons Pack. They have a lot of different stickers for... This is what I used for my months coming up. But yeah, so that's that page. Also, my tabs are coming in. That's so exciting. Today, they're coming in today. Um... That's from Target. March made it very uh, green. Um, this is spring break. And again, not much planned ahead, but yeah. April. 
May, which is probably my favorite because of the platypuses. <laughs> June, summer, which I used for this, I used this pack from Michaels, which this fit the weeks. Usually I'm pretty sure this is supposed to fit like, oh, I forgot, a cousin, I think someone said, or I don't know, but this is not made for a weeks, but the little strip here fit the weeks, so it's good. Um, July, and that's my little 4th of July gnome. August, which is my birth month. Um, obviously right now they're looking pretty plain, but I don't want to fill in so much of the months with stickers because I don't know, obviously, like my plans ahead or whatever, so I don't want to cover up a lot of the days, so... September, which I did like a purple kind of theme. October. This is Simple Stories. Um, Hello Pumpkin, I'm pretty sure. And then some of these other ones are from Target. I think Target. Um, November, I did like a Sasquatch and Yeti. Because I used my Recollections sticker book. December, which I did like a, you can tell, I did like alternating colors. And then we go into 2022, which I was going to wait to fill in because I don't know yet if I'm going to use this week's for 2022, these pages, or I'm going to be in a different one. So I don't know yet. So I'm going to leave these open for the time being. But the bookmark that I'm using right now is from uh, Shine Sticker Studio. It came in, I think this was an extra, I'm pretty sure. Freebie, I think. Um, so I just covered up 2020 with, or no, this is 2019. I covered 2019 with 2021 and it works fine. And I just put it on the page that I'm using. But um, I washi taped my days that I missed in January, the weeks that I missed, um, just so it's out of my way. And I don't have to, you know, again, see the blank pages. And then this is the first week, which I didn't have like a, a pull set up really. I just did um, my work and then I didn't have a lot. I don't have a lot of homework usually, so. But yeah, I just set up like this. And then I set up next week's with, these are Shine Sticker Studio date covers. And then these are from five below and then this is the plant lady sticker pack this is from target and then this washi is from hobby lobby so i just kind of made it florally i guess but um the numbers that i used for the date covers they came in this sticker book american crafts sticker book um it came with uh, a bunch of numbers and uh, days of the weeks and stuff so that's what I put in there because they fit perfectly and then the next week I put I kind of set it up like this and and then February which is Valentine's Day I just put these little stickers and I didn't really set up much ahead just because like I don't know you know I kind of wanted to wait to do that with you guys for my birthday week made it look cute with the wonton in a million um, pack from Michaels as well. So, and then keep going. And then the notes pages, this is my little cover. I only have one page right now, but I have a 2021 faves because I was thinking of doing like a favorites video towards the end or the middle of the year or something like that. Um, so that's what that's page is for. And then I'll probably use like shopping lists or or, um, so I'll probably do like a quotes page also. Um, but right now that is basically what my planner looks like. Anyways, I'm really loving it. Um, I love, I love the size, the paper. I feel like I could like flip through it all day. That is basically it for my Hobonichi weeks. Um, I'm really excited to use it way more. And as you can see, I set up my months way ahead, all the way up to December. So. I'm definitely excited to use this thing and then um, 
if anything else happens in here i'll let you guys know when my when my cover comes in i'm going to set that up with you guys on camera because i have so many more new die cuts that i got um let me show you guys the valentine's day die cuts that i got like this is from sparkly paper co and these die cuts oh what guys i only bought one this is a sticker guys did i like get a, a second one of those by accident <laughs> i what oh my gosh okay that was very unexpected anyways so these are from sparkly paper co but here are my little new die cuts that i got for february and i'm so excited to use these i don't know their her characters names if you guys know that please comment down below because i like they have to have names right so and then the panda that i got two of which i think was an accident but that's okay We're drinking a chick-fil-a cup and then the, this vinyl sticker so i'm really excited to use these for my cover i'm going to decorate the crap out of that and i'm going to be so happy so I'm gonna do that with you guys on camera, but that is it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to become one of my Nomi's and um, comment down below if you have any suggestions for Hobonichi Weeks or anything that maybe I should consider or any of that sort. Um, I guess I could cross this one off now, huh? Um, so have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.